love wearing gold on my nails, but this is 24 karat gold. And actually pretty easy to do. Let's get started. I did all my nails special yesterday because I wanted to wear these for the while. So they're matching. Like I'm gonna have the matching length and shape for a while because they're 24 karat. So nice. So I mix these two colors together, these little uh, refill pouches you can buy. And I just mix those two colors together to make this beautiful color, which is gonna be underneath the gold. So like most companies, including myself, I sell a gold foil. And my son says, is it real gold? And I went, oh no. And then I thought, well, why can't it be? So I searched and searched and found real 24 karat gold foil. So that's what I'm going to apply. So I've got my set of acrylic nails all ready to go. It has a top coat on it that's cured. So that's where we're going to start to put this stuff on. So it comes in a sheet. It's very delicate. It's like gold foil, but it's not already crinkled up for you. It actually comes in one sheet like that. Look at that. So beautiful. But you want to not, you know, sneeze or have a fan or... Don't walk by it fast. <laughs> Stay in a very quiet area when you apply it. So here's the best way that I found to apply it. I have my thumb here, which is a solid gold. And it's really cool how that goes on. And then I did some that were kind of an abstract. Beautiful. I love it. So that's what we're going to do on this hand. Oh, I have this new brush. I'm going to call it Gold Press. So I'm just going to grab a chunk for the first abstract nail. Now... The gel polish I have on my hand is cured. This stuff is so delicate, it will stick to anything with any type of moisture or any type of surface that has any type of smoothness, it'll really stick to. So if, if your hands have lotion on it, don't because it'll stick to your fingers. So you got one shot at it. So I'm just going to lay this piece on here like that. And then I'm going to take my gold press and I gently press it in. That's a pretty shape, I like that. And then smooth it. Look at that. So gorgeous, look at that. So I'm gonna break off another chunk. I'm using my gold press here to separate it. I'm just gonna lay this in here. Sometimes it's hard because it sticks to the tweezers. And then I'm going to press it on. That's why I'm calling it a gold press, this particular brush. So once you press it down onto it, then you can sort of give it a tiny bit of rub back and forth there. And then you can literally like you're shining it up. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to grab another chunk. Look at it blowing in the little wind that's in here. Okay, so I'm just, I like this piece actually. It's really pretty. So I'm just going to lay it down like that. I'm gonna bend this guy over near the cuticle. I like that. So just press it down. I mean, you do it any which way you want and then gently smooth it with your gold press brush and look how you turn it into a shine. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, I absolutely love it. Okay, let's do a full solid nail. This is how I did my thumb. It's blowing a little. So I'm gonna turn this just a little and I'm gonna pick it up like a blanket and then put my nail underneath it Drape it on top, and then I'm gonna rub it in to smooth it out. And I'm just going to lay it down on top, but I'm going to break away the edges. See how delicate it is? Break away the edges. Okay, so I'm gonna roll in whatever little extra is there, right? You can roll it right on top of the gold too. And press it in. Okay, 
and then gently smooth it over. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now it depends on if you want to just leave that little space there where there's a little bit right there in the cuticle area or you can fill it in. But I did kind of, my target was to do a solid gold. So I am going to take a little piece and stick it right in there. But watch how nicely it blends. It'll blend seamless. So I'm pressing it into the area that I want. See that? It just filled in right in that spot. Totally seamless. Okay, so there's just a couple little spots in there. I think I do kind of want to get those. I want to make it nice and solid. Remember, just press it in and then massage it in. Isn't that pretty? So there's a little bit going on here. I'm just going to work with it. I'm just going to massage it right in. It got on the index finger a little bit. So I'm just going to massage it in. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to do my pinky. neat. I like the way the pinky turned out. That looks really good. Okay, so when you're done, just simply carefully slide it back onto your paper. Close it up for the next time and keep it in a safe area. And just get rid of the little, I mean it'll come off when you wash your hands of course, but any little excess gold. Okay, just gonna top coat. When you top coat, you're wanting to just seal in that gold so it doesn't come off. Make sure you completely cover all the area for this one. And the pinky. Okay, and then you give them a good cure. And now let's check out the reveal shots. And I'll have both hands for this photo. That's beautiful. Next to, these ones are one of my favorites, next to the flower ones that I just recently did. Beautiful, tiny little flowers inside your full cover tip. It's a different way of looking at it and actually quite easy to do. Check this video out. <laughs> 